Hey guys, so we're not gonna make an exercise today. This is just gonna be a, we're gonna make a simple calculator um, for fun. So first off, we're just gonna do uh, our two controls. It's just gonna be two inputs. We're gonna have input one. And we're going to have input two. So I'm just copy and paste this. Okay, so we have input one and two. Then we're going to have to make our indicator, which is going to be our answer. So you're going to have the answer. All right, so this is going to deal with uh, some event structures today. I'm going to show you how to use an event structure. So we're going to and make four OK buttons for our plus, plus, minus, multiply, and divide. So now we have those buttons. You can name these buttons if you want to. We're just going to leave them like this. We'll change our font size a little bit. Okay, now you can see it. Okay, so we have our buttons here. So now over here, we're going to take our inputs. We're just going to put them here. We're going to put our answer down here. These. Um, controls we're actually not going to connect to anything they're going to be just sitting here because the event structure is kind of weird like that so we're going to go ahead and build our event structure and place it in here and you see it only shows timeout so we're going to add event case by right clicking on it and it shows our buttons we have here so we're just going to do the plus button it's already at value change so we're good there and hit ok so our first one so we're going to head and uh, add event case again this time we're going to do the minus. Again, it's already correct, so we're just going to make the rest of our cases. So we have one more. It's the division sign. So, okay, so now we have all four of them. So we can just run, go ahead and run these two right here, and run this one. Okay, so this is going to, we'll start with our plus. So we're going to run our plus. So we're just going to do kind of like, this is going to work kind of like a case structure for what we're doing. Um, basically, this event structure is going to say when this happens, we're going to display or do this. So this is kind of like an event or a case structure, but it's a lot, you can do a lot more with it. A uh, case structure is going to be just uh, certain inputs and this is going to be whenever you can press specific buttons and everything it's a little bit there's a little bit more to it so now we have our plus made um, just ran the inputs in and then ran them out we're just going to go next we're going to make our subtraction and we have our subtraction input in and run it back out now we're going to do the same thing for the multiplication and and then out and then again for the division all right so this should work we're just going to run this continuously because well, actually, I'll try to make a while loop. Last time the button didn't work for some reason. So we'll just make our Boolean, our stop button, over here. Run this up here. Run our stop button to the while loop and run it. As you see, we can put in our inputs with 86 and 23. You see, add it. It's 109. Uh, subtract it, 63. Multiply it's 1978. Divided it's 
3.73913. And again, my stop button doesn't work. So we're just going to get rid of that. Where you can just right click and click remove while loop. So this is all gone now. So we'll put in other numbers 82 and 67. Um, see, that's why we have to run it continuously because it'll just stop if you run it normally. So we're going to run it continuously. 149, 15, 5, 4, 9, 4, and 1.22388. So that's just something kind of cool you can make with a calculator, for a calculator. Again, these pieces don't have to be hooked together to anything. They're just using this event structure. It's just seeing when these are picked up and uses it like a case structure. So yeah, hope that was kind of cool. You can mess around with that all you want. Um, once I get a more complex one, I'll post that too. All right. Thanks for